good morning grade threes. Now, maybe you've been watching some of these videos already and you've been learning a bit of English, but maybe this is the first time that you are seeing me. And my name is Teacher Taryn. And I hope you've had a lovely Tuesday morning so far. We're going to do some English together. And I hope over the next few weeks, we're going to see each other quite a bit. So let's have a look at what we're going to learn. If at any point during the lesson or after the lesson you have any questions, you can email your questions to grade3 at worksheetcloud.com and then we're going to try and answer those questions as quickly as possible and help you. So, like I said, my name is Teacher Taryn. We're going to do grade 3 English. We're going to do some phonics together today. So what you're going to need for this lesson is a piece of paper and a pencil. Or if you have a whiteboard and a whiteboard marker at home, you can use that as well. So now that you've got everything ready, we are going to do these phonics sounds together. Now maybe you've already done them before. Maybe you've done them in grade two, or maybe you're going to hear some things that you've already learned in grade one. But that's okay, because the more we practice something, the better we would be at it. Now we are going to listen to a story together. So you can just sit back and you can listen. And then after the story is finished, we are going to do an activity together. So our story starts in a garden. And this garden has a main character, our character of our story. And her name is Dawn. Now if you have a look at her name Dawn, you can see that there are some sounds over here that we are going to learn about today. Now Dawn is a very, very excited little puppy and she is new to this garden and it's an adventure every single day because she gets to see new things. And today Dawn loves running on her green lawn. And while Dawn is running around outside, she sees some beautiful things and some birds and some trees that are chirping and she sees some butterflies and yesterday she saw a big group of butterflies while they were flying into the garden all different colors and patterns and while these butterflies are flying she tries to chase them but she never gets to catch any of them because they're quite fast but a beautiful orange butterfly came flying in and sat on her paw. Now after all of this running around, Dawn gets quite tired. So she goes to the bottom of the garden where her basket is and she goes to crawl into the blankets. And with a big oh, yawn, she cuddles up. And gets ready for a lovely afternoon nap in the sun. While she's in the garden, her owner sits at a table at the bottom and he loves to draw and he draws some beautiful pictures of what he sees. Sometimes he paints with a paintbrush because he is an artist and his name is Paul. And now you can see our new sound that we've got here in the middle. And Dawn's favorite part of the year and her favorite season is autumn. Because then she can sit back and see how all the colors change of the leaves. She watches how they fall down from the tree. Now, after such a busy morning and afternoon, Paul decides that he needs to pause and have his favorite thing in the entire world, a cup of tea. He picks up the cup and he takes a sip and he puts it back down on the saucer. And on the edge of the saucer over here, you can see he even has a biscuit to go with his tea. His favorite lunch is hot potato chips and he loves eating it with a lot of tomato sauce. Now Dawn always goes and nags 
that Paul needs to play with her. And together they do some tricks. And then at the end of the new trick that he teaches her, they practice what he has already taught her. Dawn has lots of toys, but her favorite toy is a yellow tennis ball. She runs around the garden and chases after this ball. And then once Paul has thrown it to her, she catches it and waits for him to call her. Now she has some friends in the neighborhood and these friends are two small cats. And they love to sit on the wall. And Dawn tries to play with them. She runs and she jumps up, but she just can't get to them. And at the end of this very busy day, in the afternoon, once it's at its hottest, Dawn goes to sit in the tall grass so that she can cool down. And she watches how those autumn leaves fall from the tree. And as the sun starts to set, Paul and Dawn go and sit on their patio. And once it gets cooler, Paul would pull that blanket over Dawn. And they would go to bed with their hearts full of love. Well, now that we've heard all about Dawn and her owner, Paul, we are going to have a look at those sounds that we heard about in the story. So our first sound is the or sound. It looks like that, A-W. And that sound has a few words that we learned in the story. So let's have a look at those words. Dawn. Before we carry on, let's have a look at the word dawn. Because here I see a capital D right in front. And that capital letter is there because, I wonder if any of you can remember, it's a capital letter because it is the name of our character. And we learned about nouns already a few weeks ago, and we learned that a proper noun is the name of a place or a thing. And it needs to have a capital letter, just like your name and surname. So that capital letter at the beginning there says that that is her name. Let's have a look at a few more words. Lawn, and Dawn loved playing on the lawn. Saw, Dawn saw all the beautiful butterflies. Paw, a beautiful orange butterfly sat on Dawn's paw. Crawl, she went to crawl into her bed. Draw, Paul, her owner, would draw beautiful pictures. Prawn. Now this is our first word that wasn't in the story. And prawn rhymes with dawn. Can you see it also has the or sound? And that is something that you might eat if you eat seafood. Yawn. Dawn would yawn when she was very tired. Straw. I drink milkshake through a straw. Jaw. And that is a part of your face, right here at the bottom where your teeth are, your jaw. Okay, now this is our next sound. And it sounds similar, or, but it looks a little bit different. Can you see it's an A and a U? So let's have a look at some of the words that were in the story with that sound. Because, now this is a word that some of us really struggle with, so we need to practice this one quite a bit. Paul. Remember, we said that a capital letter says that it is a common, a proper noun. And Paul was the name of our character. Autumn. And autumn was her favorite season of the year. Pause. This is what Paul did when he was very busy and he needed a break. Saucer. This is what a cup would go on. A teacup would fit onto a saucer. Sauce, the tomato sauce he loved putting all over his chips. 
taught. These are the tricks that he taught Dawn. Haunt. This is something that happens in a spooky house. Launch. A rocket, before it can go, would launch. Oh. Now this is a sound that sounds similar in the beginning. It has an O on the end, the double L. So this can be a word all on its own. Let's see if we can put some letters in front of the sound to make some words. Call. Ball. Stall. Small. Wall. Fall. All. Tall. Wall. Small. So let's have a look at some of the words that weren't in the story that we might not know what they mean. So a stall is like a mini shop. And that is where you can sell something. So if you have an entrepreneur's day at your school, you would have a stall. And hall is where a building would be at your school where you could have an assembly in or some concerts. Now this sound looks similar, but it has an ah in it. And that sound we normally say as an ah. But in this word, it makes the oo sound because of that double L. So this would be fool, bull, pull. So now that we've heard some of these words that were in the story, we can write some sentences with them. And while we were going through, I made some sentences to show what the meaning is of this word. But now you are going to try and write some sentences with your words on your own. And I hope you've been practicing these words on your paper or on your whiteboard so that you can spell them correctly. So, here is my sentence. A butterfly landed on Dawn's hall. And I've used the word Dawn and Paul in my sentence. And I've put them in a different color so that I can see where are the new words that I used in my sentence. But there are some important things I need to remember when I am writing sentences. I need to remember my punctuation. And punctuation is almost like a traffic light. So when I drive in my car, a traffic light will tell me either I can go or I can stop. And when it is green, it means I can drive through that traffic light. So I need a capital letter at the beginning of my sentence to tell me that I can go. So my capital letter over there is a capital A. And that says it's the beginning of my sentence. I can start reading it. But a traffic light also tells me when I need to stop. And if I don't stop, there could be an accident. So in my sentence, my stop sign is a full stop. And that is in red because it tells me my sentence is now finished. I need to stop. So a butterfly landed on Dawn's hall. And do I have a capital letter to start? Yes. And do I have a full stop to end? Yes, I do. But there's one more bit of punctuation I need to remember. That Dawn had a capital D because it's her name. My capital D shows me it's the name of the person. Now, you are going to do an activity. Now that you've heard the story, you are going to read the activity with the same story that you just heard. So you're going to read through all the difficult words. And if there are any words that you struggle to read or you don't know how to pronounce, then you can just watch this video again and hear how I pronounced it. Now, once you have read the story, you're going to look for all those new sounds that we practiced. And you're going to take either a color pencil crayon or a color monomy. And on the activity, it will tell you exactly which color you are going to color all those words. Once you've colored all those words in the right colors, then you're going to write those words at the bottom of the page, in the block where the new sounds are. Now that you've practiced them along with the story, then you can 
practice them right at the bottom. And once you've copied them correctly from the story, you can then write your own sentences. Remember that your sentences need to start with a capital letter. They need to end with a full stop. And when you spell these words in your sentence, you need to make sure that you're spelling them correctly. Now, I hope you have a lovely rest of your Tuesday. And I hope we're going to learn together very soon. Goodbye, grade threes.